Order. Start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Eli Badger. I'm here. Kathleen DeWolf. Here. Casey Barney. Here. Fran Newton. Okay. Um, are there any public comments on the agenda before we get started? Okay. Um, in that case, we have some minutes to approve. Uh, the first is Monday, April 15th. Are there any comments? Uh, yes. yes on page 3, mm -hmm. line 18, mm -hmm. uh, I think we should strike the word chemical and put organic substance. Okay. Pose a, a risk. Okay. These organic substances pose a risk to the weight. Well, phosphorus isn't organic. Yeah, I was going to say phosphorus isn't, but. Well, chlorophyll is not a chemical. So, um, these um, no, substances? Substances. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Hila, Casey? Uh, okay, in that case, I will. Uh, Accept a motion to approve the minutes of Monday, April 15th as amended. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? A second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, uh, Tuesday, April 16th. Comments? Casey? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, on line 13, mm -hmm. I, uh, well, 12, mm -hmm. uh, I think we should include, what was his name, Bill Hammond from New Hampton? Yeah. Okay, yes, I'm, absolutely. Did he have Is a title? Bill? Bill, yeah. He was their um, superintendent? Yep. Uh, commissioner? Com or com commissioner. Superintendent? Commissioner. 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 It was okay. Bill, what was his last name? Hammond, I believe it was. H-A-M-M-O-N-D. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. From New Hampton. Okay. Anything else? A motion to approve the minutes of Tuesday, April 16th, as amended. I'll make so it. moved. I'll second it. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No vote. No vote. Okay. okay. Um, Thursday, April 18th. I didn't find anything. Eli? Fine. Nothing? Okay, uh, motion to approve the minutes of Thursday, April 18th as written. I'll make that motion. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No vote? Mm -hmm. Okay, Casey, no vote. And then uh, Thursday, May 2nd. Didn't find anything. Eli? No? Mm -hmm. Okay, a motion to approve the minutes of Thursday, May 2nd as written. I'll make that motion. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No vote? Casey. Okay. Great. Thank you. Um, new business. Scribner trustee appointment. We have Amanda Loud who has submitted her uh, application to become a trustee for the Scribners. Thank you so much for all the information you provided us, Amanda. Um, are there any questions of the board? Yeah, I'd like to Amanda just to exp for the public to Give us some of the highlights of her experience that will help her in this um, appointment. Oh. Uh, well, I have a, a history of about 20 plus years of working with the Holderness Library. I was a trustee there for many years. Uh, after moving to Ashland, I can no longer be a trustee. I've been the president of the Friends of the Holderness Library for probably about 10 years now. Um, and during that time, the, we put on an expansion to the library. It was a $1.25 million project, and that was um, uh, went through the Friends. The Friends, the town did have pay a very small portion. I think uh, on TV, I'm going to get all the numbers wrong, but I think it was about 200000 And the rest was all private donations, which were funneled through the Friends. I signed the contract for the building and, and dispersed the funds as needed for the to pay the contractors and everything. So I had experience in that um, area of, of a building with the library. I also have a great deal of experience uh, being a secretary for organizations from Holderness Central School PTA, 
to trustees of the Holderness Library as a secretary, as secretary of the Friends for many, many years as well. I've been on the 4th of July committee where I, here in Ashland where I was also the secretary. So taking minutes in a meeting, posting meetings, um, uh, knowing to send the, the minutes to Mardine to get them up on, on the website. That's all stuff I have a great deal of experience with as well. Great. Um, but I also have a great heart for libraries, you know, and I would love to become more involved in the Ashland Library. Wonderful. Any other questions? <clears throat> the trustees are different than the library Yes, yes, yes. Right. Uh, I just yeah. want to make make it clear yeah. to the public. Clear yes, to the, yes. Public. Yes. Trustees, the Scribner trustees are for the building itself, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. my experience with the building, of course, would be the building of the Holderness Free Library. Mm -hmm. um, but I also have a great deal of experience with um, reading ledgers, uh, understanding uh, 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 invested funds and statements at the Holderness Community Church, where I am also trusted <laughs> in the Community Church, um, I discovered that uh, we were able to save a great deal of money by reinvesting our funds in a different, uh, a different fund, if you will, than the way that they were currently invested. We saved a great deal of money on administrative fees and cleared things up. So I, I am very um, experienced in understanding what I'm looking at when I see these statements from be they from Schwab or for, from um, TD Waterhouse or wherever, you know, they're coming from. Um, I understand what I'm looking at, and I also understand that there are avenues within the state of New Hampshire that we can save on investment fees and administrative fees, or especially when, uh, when you're talking about a, a town or, or a not, uh, not a, a publicly traded corporation. There's some avenues that, that I, I am aware of. Thank you. I feel that the, my experience in that might, might help the town back. Since we both served on the Conservation Commission at the same time and you were the secretary, you do understand the components of 91A, RSA 91A, <laughs> and the posting of minutes right. and meetings. So that, that's a positive, too. Right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, uh, can I hear a nomination for I Amanda? will nominate Amanda Lau to be... A Scrivener trustee. Is there a second? I'll second that. Hmm? For a three-year three -year term. term. Okay. No, second. no, it's two. It's two. Scriveners are only two. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I rescind <laughs> that part of it because I relied upon our yeah. uh, town manager to. <laughs> Um, yes, so I, will, I, I can't so do I'm that again two, yeah. for a two-year right. term. Yes, yeah, scrivener's are a little different. Okay. Um, any other discussion? All those in favor of Amanda Loud being appointed to the Scribner Trustees, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Amanda, thank you so much. Yes. Um, I, I, I think you're going to bring a tremendous uh, 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 amount of asset to this thank group, and, and we welcome you. Thank so. you. I have a couple of questions, though, first. Mm -hmm. um, my, my question is, uh, when, when do the, the trustees of the trust fund meet? My understanding is the trustees of the trust fund are also, you know, uh, the, the library is, the building is owned by the town of Ashland. Mm -hmm. And so as such, the trustees of the trust fund are custodians of that mm -hmm. building, uh, but this building is special in the town and that there are the additional two Scribner trustees mm -hmm. for this building as Correct. well. So when do they meet? <laughs> and my next question is, is who, who are they and how do I contact them? That, that's a, a really good question, question. Amanda. Um, and it's one, we, I mean, we've been struggling mm -hmm. with because they have been less than transparent so yeah. we hope that your addition to that group will bring us some transparency um, in terms of when they meet Mardine do you have that schedule I have no schedule mm -hmm. for when they meet I can tell you who they are oh, yes <laughs> if I can, if I it's on the on the website mm -hmm. oh it is yes on yeah on the website there's a category trustees and, and all the different groups of trustees are listed. Are there any emails? On yeah, that? I can. I can. If you could just yeah. show me how to contact, I, the, I think there's going to be uh, there's four trustees of the trust fund. Three, three, mm -hmm. and then plus another Scribner. Two, mm -hmm. two Scribners. And, and yeah. Me, so yeah. Five of us. Yeah. Yes. So if I have a way of contacting the other four, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps then I can find out when the next meeting is. Yeah. And you'll let us know. I yes. will let you know. I will, and <laughs> according to the New Hampshire state law, I will let everyone know. We I'm appreciate that. We <laughs> sincerely appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Amanda. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. 
Okay, um, building permit fee vote. We held a public hearing a couple weeks ago. We had a um, one outstanding question, Charlie, about fees and um, uh, fines. Did you get any clarification on that? Yeah, if they started, it would be double what the permit fee is. Okay. So if the permit fee is, say, $300, it would be $600. The, the fine would be, and that's still outside of what we're voting on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, the other ones, the expiration of permits is 18 months, mm -hmm. as by our building regs, and, and not one year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that needs to this be changed. This is a new, new copy. I didn't update the copy. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, good. Any other comments? Yes, Madam Chair. Yes. I just want um, the residential. Um, fees mm -hmm. uh, have remained in place as the same as before. I is what I understand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the single family that, residential. Yeah. So the yeah. single family yeah. residential not has not changed That's at all. Correct. It is the commercial industrial right multifamily um, that that have changed. Yes. That's my understanding. Okay. Okay. Um, any other comments before we vote? Um, can I have a motion to uh, approve of the proposed fees? I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Any further discussion? So just a quick question. What was, yes. the, what was the double thing? So what are we, something's not being included on yes. this? Um, <coughs> for starting work without having your permit, yep. somebody goes ahead and disregards mm -hmm. and, through there's up to double fee for what the permit so if someone on a, on commercial um, is doing new uh, the total value of his new the f the fine would be three hundred dollars plus whatever the square footage is so it's, it's the 150 double yeah. yes correct so that's not included on what we're voting that's, that's not question. included that mm -hmm. that's not something that the that's outside of the fee structure okay okay any other questions comments all right all those in favor of the revised uh, permit fees please say aye. aye aye opposed okay thank you um code enforcement items um charlie uh, we received a couple of enforcement issues from the uh, National Planning Board. Uh, to me, this is kind of just clean up uh, a couple of ownership changes, and that might be businesses, and it's about the Building Inspector Code Enforcement Officer, officer mm -hmm. contacting uh, these new owners. Have these been referred to the Code Enforcement Officer? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are they underway? Yep. You started to work on it already. I got okay. it from last Friday. Okay. So, like, as Charlie said, it includes some, some cleanup things that, that hadn't been taken care of. Mm -hmm. it's a, some uh, home occupations that hadn't yep. come before the planning board mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Yep. Clarification. Uh, new items. owners of businesses. It's, it's all pretty straightforward. So, um, you will keep us posted as mm -hmm. to the progress of these? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Seven issues. Yep. Seven. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, report from the LRPC meeting. Nardine, would you like to come up and share your information? Um, or you and Dave? Okay, on April 22nd, uh, Dave, Toth, and I were both commissioners for the LRPC, went to the uh, latest commissioners meeting, and the primary topic was an overview of their solid waste management activities. Uh, the there was just a, and I'm just going to touch on a few things. Uh, in addition to the solid waste, they did talk about regional cooperative purchasing. Uh, they, the LRPC has already uh, put in place some cooperative purchasing for member towns for electricity and for oil and propane. They are exploring some other uh, group purchasing ideas, uh, including glass crushing, hauling and disposal of construction debris, and also for several school districts looking at cooperative purchasing of school bus services. Uh, but on the solid waste management uh, issue, they talked about several of the roundtables that they've been having 
over this past year. And just a couple examples, they had one on food waste management and composting. And after that roundtable, they actually resulted in, there are three compost pilot projects in two towns, Tamworth and Tuftonboro, and with a private business in Northfield. Uh, so there are some results out of that roundtable. Another uh, roundtable that they had recently had to do with glass use in DOT projects. And Dave went to that one. Want a, a couple comments about that? Yeah, I, I, I attended that and it was, it was really fascinating. Uh, one of the reasons that, uh, that they're looking into glass crushing is that recycling gra glass has become more expensive um, <clears throat> and in, in, in some cases um, if you if you bring glass to the, uh, to, the to the place where they they recycle it if the glass is dirty they will re in some cases make the whole truck go back and so it costs you a fortune uh, to to have that done. And what, what they have found is that crushed glass, if crushed properly, can be used in, uh, for roadway beds, um, for culverts, for sidewalks. Um, and the product is interesting. It's about, it's about a 3 8 inch piece of glass, and they passed around a, a jar of, of glass that had been crushed. And you could stick your hand into it mm -hmm. and, and, and not have it cut you. Um, they can also take glass and they can basically turn it back into sand. Mm -hmm. And the sand that is, is uh, that can be used on beaches, for example. Um, the reason that it's effective uh, for roadbeds and culverts and things like that is that it does not absorb water. Um, and so it lessens um, things like frost heaves and, 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 and hmm. so forth. I think our problem, and I, and I, I, I haven't, um, I, I didn't talk to Craig about it, um, I think our problem is that we, we don't have enough glass to have the recycling machine come here and spend two weeks crushing all of our year's worth of glass and we probably can't store that much. Um, but we could, we could, um, if we wanted to, uh, go in with another town, bring our glass over there, have it crushed, and then bring it back. So that that might be a possibility. It could be used for the sidewalk project, or it could be used on the um, culvert projects that we have coming up. So it's certainly something to talk about. And see about. Okay. Um, the recycling project. One, one thing on the recycling project that was very interesting. They had an expert there from Maine. Who has recycled whales? What? <laughs> or composted whales? Oh, wow! And composted a whole, a whole farm of chickens that died of some, you know, some some disease. So it is it is possible to do more than um, composting grass and, and uh, mm. you know, food waste. Uh, uh. Food waste and things like that. So that. The, the food waste in particular, food waste from restaurants and things like mm -hmm. that can be composted as well. So mm -hmm. um, again, this is, might be something for us to look into at the, uh, at the transfer station. Is there some kind of sophisticated technology that we need to bring in in order to I, compost they didn't food go, waste? They didn't okay. go into how it was done, mm -hmm. um, but uh, as Nadine said, there are a couple of towns that are um, experimenting Experimenting with it, and certainly we could we could relook at, at how we compost at the transfer station, and, and maybe borrow some of the uh, some of the ideas to make our compost a little more effective. Okay. What was interesting? They mentioned that forty percent of all the food that we produce in the U.S. is wasted every year, mm -hmm. and food waste is the largest municipal waste source. I'm not surprised. So it becomes mm -hmm. very important. Some of the other things, they, um, some upcoming fall workshops that they're working on for LRPC members, uh, they're, they're looking at a series of uh, workshops on closed landfill maintenance. They're working with that. They're also working with um, transfer station site 
uh, best management practices, mm -hmm. site design, uh, helping towns with a variety of things dealing with their transfer stations. Mm -hmm. um, and then they also mention household hazardous waste. Uh, just a, a point of note, uh, September 28th in Plymouth is the next date through the Penny Baker Solid Waste District for Ashland to participate in household hazardous waste collection. Would you make sure that's on the web? That is already. All right, there. excellent. Yeah. There's also one earlier in Littleton if anyone's inclined to go that way. Are there <laughs> guidelines that are posted? Or? Yes. Okay, yes, the what you can and can. Okay, great. Well, thank you. I think the limit is five gallons. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Appreciate all that information. Um, okay. We have a donation of a snowplow. Um, there was a resident in the town that was going to throw away a snowplow, which was going to the scrapyard. The value estimated to be sixty to eighty dollars. But uh, before DPW was asked if they could use the snowplow, mm -hmm. and they would like to actually accept the donation and use the plow at the transfer station. DPW can re retrofit the plow at little or no cost with the mini loader and use the plow with the new scales to be installed. So um, I would entertain a motion to accept the donation of the snow plow for the Ashland DPW. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Any further discussion? All those in favor of accepting the donation of the snow plow, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Um, any old business? Nope. Okay, select board items. Um, Ashland Community Garden. Um, as we discussed at our last meeting, um, with Heal no longer being uh, a, a, an entity, we have a community garden um, into which we dumped a lot of money and a lot of tears and sweat and, and love, and we want to know what we can do with it. Um, so I met with Dave Toth. Uh, Miriam Almore, Liz Stevens, and Susan McLeod, who have all been involved in the community garden in the past and discussed um, their thoughts as to uh, what, what the next steps would be, and they agreed with us that it would be a shame to just make it go away. So we are going to give it another try. With your blessing, we would, will form a new committee called the Ashland Community Garden Committee. And um, as, you know, establish a method for moving forward, and I think we're meeting again tomorrow evening uh, at the fire station. And I think the plan is on Saturday to have some tables in a couple places in town to get people to sign up. And I know that a couple of the members that have already been reaching out to people who've gardened in the past. So I would like uh, a motion to approve the formation of the Ashland Community Garden Committee. How are we going to do this? Is it? Uh, would they go through the appointment process? Yes, they would go through the appointment. It would be a town committee, um, okay. and they will go through the, the appointment process. So it's it's basically heel morphed into you yes. know, just the community. Exactly. Garden. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? No second. Any further discussion? Questions? What's the intent? The intent is to keep the garden going. I mean, it's on town property. Um, we do have to resolve a couple of issues, namely in the past, the Water and Sewer Commission has all, all, all has donated the water. Um, we need to know if that can continue. Uh, understanding we're operating with limited funds. Now, in the past, we have collected 5 or $10 per garden plot, um, but I don't know if that's enough to cover the water. So we need to work kind of those questions out. Um, and again, it will be open to members of the community to come and garden, people who don't have a sunny spot. Um, we're also looking at potentially having some of the plots. Uh, we're going to reach out to uh, Got Lunch and see if we can grow some lettuce or something mm -hmm. for that. We want at least one or two of the plots to be do donated to um, food bank or whatever. So. Um, We had a motion. Do we have a second? Mm -hmm. We did. Yep. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? No vote. Or abstain. Um, so I will ask the committee members to come forward and get sworn in at the town hall. 
um, over the next couple of weeks, but I think we're going to move forward as soon as possible. I mean, we are coming up on planting season. So mm -hmm. if there's anybody out there in the community that is interested in getting a, a garden plot, um, we'd, we'd certainly love to hear from you. We'll put some sign-up sheets in the town hall as well. So Amanda's going to have to go to the town office and be sworn in. Yes. Oh, I can go get sworn in. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Unless you brought the... Uh, I, you, uh, yeah. So stop by the town hall sometime and get sworn in. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, okay. Um, I also have a statement that I'd like to read. Um, the board... Uh, Lee Sharps went to the recent elementary school event as a representative of the, uh, the select board. Mm -hmm. And this is her statement. The board would like to thank the Ashland Elementary and Middle School for the invitation to the famed explorer Oliver Z. Wander Cook is missing. I know we all got an invitation. I really wanted to go, but we had an emergency at the last minute and I couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. I was last Thursday evening and the spring concert. So, Selectman Lee Sharps attended representing the board. Instead, it was an amazing presentation through the school with exotic and professional scenes and decorations and acting and singing by each school grade as visitors made the trip through the classrooms and ended in the cafeteria. A free pizza supper was provided for visitors and kids alike, and it was a wonderful time. Following the presentation, the school held their annual spring concert, sing singing some of the songs from the Wander Cook Experience, and the bands and chorus performed as well. Great job to our state award-winning school. And we should all be proud of the school and, and the wonderful things that Thank they you, do. Thank you, Lee. Yes, definitely. Okay, um, finally we have a proclamation this uh, for Municipal Clerks Week, and I will read it. Okay. Um, whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk, a time-honored and vital part of the local government, uh, exists throughout the world, and whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk is the oldest among public servants, and whereas the Office of the Municipal Clerk provides the professional link between the citizens, the local governing bodies, and agencies of government at other levels, and whereas the Municipal Clerks have pledged to be ever mindful of their neutrality and impartiality, rendering equal service to all, Whereas the municipal clerk serves as the information center on functions of local government and community, whereas municipal clerks continually serve to improve the administration of the affairs of the office of the municipal clerk, clerk through participation in education programs, seminars, workshops, and the annual meetings of their state, county, and professional organizations, whereas it is most appropriate that we recognize the accomplishments of the Office of the Municipal Clerk. Now, therefore, we, the town manager and the Board of Selectmen of Ashland, do recognize the week of May 5th through May 11th as Municipal Clerk's Week and further extend appreciation to our Municipal Clerk, Patricia Tucker, and to all Municipal Clerks for the vital services they perform and their exemplary dedication to the communities they represent. And this is... Uh, something we will sign, mm -hmm. dated today. Okay. Um, Charlie, you have another? Yeah, I've got a couple things in here. Okay. Signature file yep. that I think should be voted upon. Okay. Uh, the first is for a reimbursement out of the TAP grant, or for the TAP <coughs> grant, I mm -hmm. should say. Uh, it's a $384 uh, wrote from the Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund. Okay. Generally, the board usually we sign these memos to send to the trustees. Okay. Well, uh, since you don't really you don't sign the manifest anymore, mm -hmm. right? This is what was in the manifest. So I requested a formal vote okay. that we can send the memo. Oh, okay. All right. To, so do I have a motion to uh, approve this uh, request of the trustees? I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. For the discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, and we have another one <clears throat> for $30,000 from the Property Tax Map Capital Reserve Fund. This is to Cardiographic Associates. Uh, basically, this is the GIS mm -hmm. project that we have the contract mm -hmm. for. Yep. The articles were approved. Mm -hmm. um, the funding is there. Okay. Uh, but we're getting to the end of, uh, well, mid semi-annual, I should say, where the cash starts to get a little bit tight before mm -hmm. the tax bills go out in June. Yeah. Uh, this one is a little hit. So basically, the faster we turn it around, mm -hmm. the better for us for cash flow purposes. Okay. Uh, so that's why we have this one so quick. Okay. So when's it going to be completed? Oh, this? Oh, it's got another two more years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. More years. Yeah. 
So may I have a motion to uh, approve the expenditure of $30,000? So moved. Is there a second? Second. For the discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Okay. Uh, speaking of Pemby Baker Solid Waste District, I received a memo from them earlier this week. Uh, they're looking for representat representative appointments. Uh, my thoughts were maybe we could ask the DPW director and his foreman to mm -hmm. be our reps. Mm -hmm. uh, last was the former director and the town administrator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of not interested on this one. So <laughs> uh -huh. uh, It seems yeah. appropriate that yeah. the, the DPW yes. director yeah. and yes. foreman be appointed. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Yeah. 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 We are members and we're a voting member. So. Okay. Uh -huh. So a motion to approve the DPW director and foreman to be the representation representatives to the solid waste. So moved. Is there a second? Second. For the discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, this week we had some turnover at the electric department. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, employee resigned. Just so the board knows, we're going to go out and try to hire someone full time to replace that mm -hmm. employee. Mm -hmm. um, probably be you know a good month. That usually takes a little while, but they're, they're really short staff right now. Very short. Very short staff. Just hoping we can yeah. get somebody quickly. Yeah. Uh, another thing, the big, big break in news this week was the fact that our chief, Randall, is uh, gave me a formal resignation. You want to read demo. it? Let me read this. Okay. Mayor Selectman and Town Manager, I will be resigning my position as Ashland's Chief of Police to be effective as of June 22nd, 2019, <coughs> to return to my survey and septic design business full time. It was an honor to have served the residents of the town for the past 10 years. The job certainly afforded me the opportunity to grow and understand how difficult and challenging police work can be. I recommend to the board and town manager that <coughs> Lieutenant William Olick be promoted to the position of chief upon my leaving. I feel he will serve the town of Ashland and its residents admirably. He has proven to me over the past four years that he is the right person for the job and has what it takes. I will be working with Lieutenant Olick over the remaining time to make the transition as smooth as possible. I thank you for support over the years, and I'm hopeful that the next chief will get that same support. Respectfully submitted, Anthony Randall, Chief of Police. Tony, we want to thank you for all of your service to the town. Um, you have certainly served the town with honor, mm -hmm. and um, we've seen um, tremendous growth, in, and I don't mean that in terms of numbers, but just in, in terms of what, we, what we're what we getting out of our police department. We're very proud of all of you, and we thank you for your leadership, and you will be missed. Is it going to be a party? <laughs> It should be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, any other items of uh, business? Uh, oh, I think um, appointments. Charlie, I think you'll have to send a memo out to. I'll let mm -hmm. you finish. Right yeah. Now. Oh, the, the people yeah. whose appointment we have still right. do not have right. the paperwork, the documentation for the Fourth of July. Mm -hmm. David, I believe your appointment for. Heritage is up this year. I don't think so. Uh, Mardine can <laughs> tell you in a jiffy. <laughs> I, I think you out. got, I think you drew a short straw the last time. Now we got the Mardine. two year. Um, no, according, to, according to what I have on the website, mm -hmm. his term expires 2019. Dean. But I do know that always. This town office yeah. has got the final. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we should verify that. And it's all verified. If, if in fact yes. yeah. your term expires and if in fact you want to be reappointed, please yeah. submit your paperwork. Uh, and a reminder to everybody, yes. we still have a lot of vacancies that we'd really love to see filled. We have the ZBA and the planning board, both very essential groups in the town um, and are required. We have the Conservation Commission. Um, so... Please, 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 Amanda, go out and get all of your friends to sign up. <laughs> you know, 
I, I know, you know, I know, yeah. I know. We we don't have quorums in some of these groups, so we really would love to see some new faces and some old faces. Um, but you know, it, it's a great way to participate in the town. Um, you learn a lot, and we, we'd welcome any application. It, and we just can't fill these spots we, ourselves. No, we no. can't. We can't. And I know there's a few people in this town that do a lot of different things and I'm sure they're burned out as well so we'd love to see some new people step up okay um, anything else all right in that case public comment all right seeing none I will entertain a motion to adjourn I'll make that motion is there a second a second any further discussion all those in favor aye, aye. and enjoy this beautiful